an extreme pressure oil seal test at 120 RPM and 9500 to 9800 PSI. Kelsey Engineering has been involved in high pressure sealing technology since 1980. The underlying research began in 1968 with the company founder's graduate studies. Our initial research made us pioneers in the hydrodynamic lubrication of rotary seals. Our continuing research has kept us at the forefront of high-pressure seal technology. In May of 2019, Kelsey Engineering completed an extreme pressure test of 4.5-inch diameter plastic-lined oil seals. The pressurized test fluid was an ISO 68 viscosity grade lubricant. The lubricant was maintained at 9500 to 9800 PSI and 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The rotary speed was 120 RPM. The test was fully instrumented for continuous operation. Pressure, torque, rotary speed, lubricant level and temperatures at various locations were monitored. We ended the test at 320 hours because our 300-hour goal had been exceeded. This was the inaugural test of our super-wide plastic-lined seals, which were designed for extreme pressure operation. Under the same test conditions, the previous generation seal only lasted about 120 hours. The increased lip width and high modulus plastic of the super-wide seals allowed us to reach the 300-hour operational goal. A patent-pending process is used to accurately form the high-modulus plastic. The super-wide seals incorporate our patented enhanced lubrication hydrodynamic waves. These waves pump a thin film of oil into the dynamic interface during rotation. This reduces friction, wear, and seal-generated heat. The hydrodynamic pumping-related leak rate was about 5 milliliters per hour per seal. This is a cross-section of the test fixture. The center of the shaft is at the left edge. A pair of seals were tested to eliminate hydraulic thrust on the fixture bearings. The lubricant between the seals was maintained at 9500 to 9800 PSI. The test seals were mounted in our patented floating backup rings. These rings move laterally to accommodate shaft misalignment and runout. They allow the use of a very small extrusion gap clearance, facilitating high pressure seal performance. Following the test, the shaft runout was documented. The runout at the upper seal location was six thousandths of an inch. The runout at the lower seal location was four and one half thousandths of an inch. The upper seal normally outperforms the lower seal in this test fixture. This test was no different. The used upper seal is shown. The upper seal was in excellent condition at the conclusion of the 320 hour test, while the lower seal had significant wear but was still functional. The lower seal remained functional despite the damage, mainly due to the additional lip width provided by the super-wide seal design. Following this test, we performed a follow-up test of another super-wide seal at 10,000 PSI for 368 hours at 120 to 175 RPM. The seal was in excellent condition at the end of the test. Contact our staff to learn more about using Calci seals in your extreme pressure equipment.